Good morning everyone, welcome to this wonderful Wednesday morning um, I know I was supposed to do this video yesterday, but yesterday got away from me um, On the video that I did on Monday about, you know, blaming the many for the doings of the few There were two comments that popped up Two pertinent comments, slightly not relevant to the topic at hand The first one was talking about um, if one side wins Things get said, things get done. When the other side, when the same side starts to lose, then life goes on as normal. But that is not relevant to what I was talking about. And the other thing is nobody wins in a war. Wars more often than not end in some sort of truce, some sort of ceasefire. But the innocence lost can never be gained. So that is, that is the part that should sink in. The other one was on land occupation. Now, that is a topic for a whole discussion in on itself. But the entire history of humanity is based on people moving around, taking land, owning it for as long as they can. Well, somebody else comes and moves them along. That's just history. But that is, number one, not what this war is about. This war is a war on terrorism. Number two... The occupation of this area goes back to almost the beginning of time. So the war in that area is like ongoing since forever. But it's not relevant to what was said. When I said, don't blame the many for the doings of the few. What I mean is you need to... Start looking at the specifics of what the problem is and tackle that. Not worry about the things that the problem affects because that just is going to be there. That's the effect of what happens. But you can't blame that for the problem. Sort out the problem. This, for the next few days, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of videos over this specific topic, right? Starting with a simple one. Everybody's protesting the war. Everybody has something to say about the war. Yet, if you look at Afghanistan, women's rights have been completely annihilated there. But nobody says anything. Why is that? I'll tell you why. Because there's no violence. Look at all major protests. Look at all major issues always revolves around violence and that will be the theme going through the next few videos on these topics is how much we feed off of that violence how much we absorb that violence and at the end of the day you really have to ask yourself why is it like that why are we so prone to only dealing with violence with more violence usually, something to think about.